Now this is the Sony FX6, and this is meant to be a big boy camera. It's meant for the big production, short films, documentaries, and commercial work. And surely once you've rigged it up, you don't wanna spend $10,000 making a TikTok video or an Instagram reel, right? Right? What's going on guys, it's Kofi Bo, and in today's video, we're gonna go over the Sony FX6 vertical rig. This is gonna be great if you wanna shoot in nine by 16, or you have clients that need vertical content, and you don't wanna let go of your favorite camera. Let's talk about it. Now, full disclosure, Tilta did send me a bunch of parts for this video. However, it's not sponsored and I can still say whatever I want. Although, nothing's really bad. Now to start off this $10,000 TikTok rig, we're gonna go with the Sony FX6. Now I'm not gonna stay in here and try to tell you this isn't overkill. However, if you are trying to make a really expensive rig to shoot vertical content, this is a good place to start. That being said, to start off this rig, I'm gonna go to the Tilta Advance Kit. Now this is gonna run you around 300 bucks, but it's gonna be everything that you need as a skeleton and a base to mount all your accessories to. Now the Tilta Advance Cage is going to have multiple plates that are gonna cover the majority of your camera. Now starting off with this top plate, I'm gonna put this on the top of my camera where the screw holes are on the FX6, and I'm also going to mount on two 50 millimeter rod inputs just in case I decide to use a cinema glass, which again is overkill for a vertical rig, but if you use manual focusing lenses, you're gonna to need to get a follow focus on somehow. Now what you might be used to is the fact that you have a side handle on the Sony FX6 here, but in order to get this mounted vertically, you actually kinda of just have to take it off. And you're actually gonna use this thing instead. Now this is gonna be a plate that's gonna take place of the side handle that's going to be on your Sony FX6. Now there are mounting screw points on here as well. The side of your camera is actually gonna be the new bottom of your camera. That way you can mount on the base plate with the 50 millimeter rods and the Ari Rosette inputs. So you could actually start rigging things as you would normally, just it's gonna be turned 90 degrees. What's also really cool about this is you could actually buy this separately. So if you're already somebody that has a Tilta Advance kit, you can click the link down in the description down below and you can pick up this and you can just add it to a cage that you already have. All right, now once you're and your side plate are on with your base plate, we're still gonna need to power everything, which means I'm gonna use the Tilta V-mount battery kit that's gonna be for the Sony FX6. Now this is something you've probably seen before and it's gonna sit right where the battery should go. And I'm actually gonna power this with my FX Lion Nano 2 battery, which is gonna be great and gives me enough juice, especially if I'm going on shoots just for some vertical content. Now what's cool about this kit is you don't have to worry about a top handle. Tilta actually has one that comes included with the Tilta Advanced Kit. Now what I like about this is that it actually has an adjustable little lever on the side here, which means I could accommodate for my hand size because if I had to put my hand right in the middle, this just wouldn't work for me. Now it does have a quarter 20 mounting screw, which is actually gonna be where the top handle would be on this vertical kit, but it's actually just gonna be on your right side. Now the monitor I'm gonna use with this kit to keep things a little bit more on the affordable side, as far as affordable goes, is actually going to be using the Atomos Shinobi 5 inch. Now this is the original, the HDMI version, and to be honest, when I'm shooting vertical content, I don't need something that records in RAW, and most times when I'm shooting vertical content, people don't really care about me having a wireless feed either. Now I'm gonna use this guy, and it's a little bit easier than the Ninja 5 or the Mars M1, and also because the FX6 can still output a 4K signal, I can still view all my clips in 4K while using this monitor. All right, so this kit is actually starting to add up a little bit and I'm not gonna make it any better because I'm gonna introduce the lens that I'm gonna use while I'm shooting vertical content. And that's actually going to be the 35 millimeter G Master by Sony. 35 millimeters is what I would call the perfect content lens. It's great for environmental portraits. It's great for getting vertical content, especially when you're shooting portrait style videos. It's also just a really great all around lens, especially if you're gonna be shooting in vertical. Now I'm a really big fan of using diffusion filters on some of the sharper lenses. And I do know that the G Master lenses have great quality, but I wanna take a little bit of the digital edge off. And instead of using a black Promus, which you probably thought I was gonna talk about, I'm actually gonna use a 1 8 glimmer glass that's going to go on the front of my 35 millimeter lens. Now, even though we're shooting some vertical content, we're still gonna need pretty decent audio. And I've been a big fan of actually using the DJI Lavalier system because not only do you get two transmitters, but you also get a high quality receiver as well. And a great way to connect these guys to your FX6 because it only does use XLR connection is to actually use one of these guys. And this is just going to be an XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack cable that you can convert a 3.5 millimeter connection into something like an XLR. This is gonna come in handy because when I'm shooting Instagram reels or when I'm shooting TikToks and things like that, I don't necessarily need an extravagant setup in terms of my audio. The DJI Lavalier system is still really good and has high quality sound. And at the same time, I can have a slightly smaller footprint without having to use a big shotgun mic. And I actually still broke the one on my top handle. Okay, so before we keep on going, I actually came to the realization I I hate this, this part. This keeps tipping over and it feels a little bit weird and uneasy, but I'm still gonna use a magic arm and this monitor. I'm just gonna move this from the side of the camera with a quarter 20 mounting point and I'm just gonna put it on the top handle. And hopefully it doesn't feel too right side heavy. And honestly, I'll just hold the camera on my left if I'm shooting in handheld. All right, so this feels a lot better being on the audio handle, but you know it's not gonna feel better? Your wallet especially after what I'm about to tell you. Now, I used to be a big part of the cheap tripod game, and I've picked up affordable tripods left, right, and center in order for me to shoot content and to have stable footage.
footage. But unfortunately, I've had multiple cheaper tripods break on me at one point or another. The legs have either broken or even the internal screws have just stopped working all of a sudden. Which means I opted for a more expensive tripod and I'm actually gonna use the big boy in the Manfrotto 502 with the fluid head. Now it's a tripod a lot of people swear by and have been using for a little bit and I'm a big fan of Manfrotto just earlier times in my career, couldn't afford it. However, I do have a little bit more money, especially to buy a $10,000 TikTok rig. So I'm gonna use a Manfrotto tripod in case I need stationary shots while I'm shooting vertical content. And to round things out, we still need to record media to the Sony FX6 by some means, which means we're gonna have to buy SD cards for this thing. Now, if you wanna use all intra codecs while using the Sony FX6, or if you actually wanna go into 120 frames a second, you're going to need a CF Express Type A card. That's gonna be your best card you're gonna need for all intra high frame rates, especially at 120 frames a second. Now you can't opt for V90 cards, which are a little bit cheaper and it's still gonna give you a ton of flexibility in terms of your shooting modes. And just because I wanna see the world in your wallet burn and I wanna cross a $10,000 threshold, I have one of each card. Which actually brings our camera set up to well over $10,000 to just shoot some TikToks and vertical content. Now I'm not gonna pretend that this isn't overkill if you're just shooting TikToks and vertical content. However, when I'm working with different clients and I'm using my Sony FX6 for other gigs, sometimes I also have vertical shooting in there as well. And having a setup that I could use a Sony FX6 and just turn it to 16 by nine without a lot of trouble is a great way for me to be able to do that without having to use something like frame guides in my camera to actually have to crop into my image and post. And this might be a little bit of a hot take, but I do think vertical productions are probably gonna get a little bit more budget, especially with so many platforms sharing that type of video. Nowadays, everybody's watching content on their phone, so shooting in vertical is going to be essential. And a lot of these brands are gonna figure out that shooting in vertical or shooting horizontal, the price isn't gonna change very much if you still wanna have good product. Which means that getting a $10,000 rig like this just to shoot some vertical content, Instagram Reels, and TikTok actually might not be too crazy in a couple of years. At least I'm gonna tell myself that to justify my purchases. That being said, special shout out to Tilta for actually sending me the vertical mounting kit for the Sony FX6. I've been looking for a solution to actually shoot some vertical content for the last little bit, and I still wanna use my Sony FX6 and not have to bring an entirely different rig sometimes when I need to do both 16x9 and 9x16. If you guys wanna check out this entire kit, I left the links down in the description down below, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, or at the very least, you learned something. Now, there are gonna be a lot of rigs on this channel, and if you wanna see another one, well, there's nowhere else to look except for over there. Peace.